Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and for those of you that have not heard the news yet, a new Pokemon was announced for Generation 6, or the Pokemon XY games, and it is known by the name of Ninfia currently, which is its Japanese name, but it's most likely going to be Ninfian or something of that nature, because this is the newest evolution introduced into the Generation 6 games. Now, not a lot of information was given to us based upon that, but there are a few things we can draw from the picture that I have shown for you, which is featured in one of like the Japanese magazines um, that I took this from. Basically, um, they have not told us exactly how this Pokemon be or is or how Eevee evolves into this Pokemon. Um, but what we do know is that it's going to be in an upcoming movie with all the other evolutions, meaning that this is most likely the only evolution we're getting in um, Gen 6, which is fine by me because I'm perfectly okay with that. Eevee's one of my favorite Pokemon, and I love all the evolutions, so another one is, you know, extremely awesome in my case. Um, but just observing it, um, part of me, um, just to kind of speculate types, believes that this might be the normal evolution of Eevee, which is something I talked about in like my predictions video a while back. Um, partly because it looks kind of angelic to me a little bit, like a lot of um, normal types that you've seen like t uh, Audino and Blissey and things like that. It looks kind of like that nature, um, or that kind of Pokemon to me. So part of me believes that this is going to be a um, normal type evolution for Eevee, though they haven't exactly told us how to do it. Um, now, one of my obvious um, speculations could be it could be like a uh, evolution similar to how Melodic works, where you have to like get one of its like contest stats all the way up. Um, I forget which one it is for Melodic, but it might be something like that nature. Um, also, obviously, all the stones or something. Um, or I really don't have any other ideas what could possibly, maybe there's like a special item that'll allow Eevee to evolve into this thing. Um, but there's a lot of, you know, speculation going on. I think it has an adorable bow, personally. Um, but you really can't exactly pinpoint what it might be at this point in time, though I'm assuming that the information is coming soon. Also, with the release of this, it could confirm like the speculation a lot of us had, where that 6th gen is going to be similar to 4th and 2nd, where you get a lot of evolutions of already... Um, established Pokemon, which would be fantastic to see um, for like, you know, Farfetch'd and those kind of guys. But um, on this magazine, there are a couple of images that are shown um, in the upper corner, or up, or on the top of the magazine, as you can see from this picture right here. So I'm going to zoom in uh, to the left one right now. Um, you can very easily see that this Pokemon is using Swift, um, which is, I believe, a move that all the evolu evolutions get. But it's, I guess, more significant in my mind because if it is a normal type evolution, obviously this is like a stab move, um, and it's really cool that it would get that. Um, who knows? It might even get Technician Swift, which would be pretty sweet. Um, I'm just, you know, theorizing here. Nothing obviously set in stone. Um, but that is really cool to see that at least we know it's getting something like that. And now if you flip to the right um, image, to me it looks like this is using some type of fire attack. Um, now, it also could mean that they took a screenshot when it was getting hit by a fire attack, so that could be um, something to make note of as well. However, a, like with a lot of normal types, um, there's a trend in that they can learn a ton of TMs and a ton of moves. And Eevee is known for having a very limited move pool. So if this Pokemon, even if it is a normal type, I don't really know, maybe it'll be a dual type evolution or something, um, can learn a fire move, that's really cool because that's kind of expanding the Eevee move pool a lot, which is really awesome to see. Um, now those are like the two clearest images I could see, but this is basically um, what I'm getting out of this Pokemon right now. Um, and obviously there are a lot of things that we're still considering about what could happen, but I'm actually going to flip over to a chart right now to talk a little bit about potential stats for um, this new evolution. So if you take a look right here, um, you can see that there's a trend with all the stats of the evolutions. So there's always a stat that's 130, there's always a stat that's 65, there's always a stat that's 60, there's always a stat that's 110, there's always a stat that's 95, and there's always another stat that is also 65. Um, and so as you can see throughout, um, so far we have gotten um, basically a bulky special, at special attacker with uh, Vaporeon, a speedy special attacker with Jolteon, a bulky physical attacker with Flareon, a also speedy special attacker with Espeon, just a little bit different than Jolteon, um, a complete defensive evolution, which is basically what I'm going to consider Umbreon, 
um, a bulky physical attacker from the physical defensive side, unlike Flareon, um, where it's more especially defensive, that is also fast in the form of Leafeon. And then a Pokemon that is bulky from both the physical and special side, that is also a very powerful special attacker, like Glaceon. So the one thing that we actually haven't gotten yet, and like at least that's standing out to me, is a Pokemon that is a mixed attacker for an evolution. So it could be a Pokemon that has maybe like 95 physical attack, 110 special attack, and 130 special or 130 speed, with the rest of the stats being like the 60s and 65s. Now that would be really freaking cool and kind of the ideal thing that I would love to see because we obviously would love to see more evolutions being used, honestly, in my opinion. Um, but overall, that seems like the most plausible option to me that could result of the um, standard EV stats, as you can see right here. Um, another option that we could potentially get is maybe just like something that's complete um, offensive with like sub defense, meaning like similar to Umbreon where it has like high HP and high defenses, maybe something that has like high HP, high physical defense, and high physical attack, or high HP, high physical defense, high special attack, or like any combination. Or maybe even like a defensive speedy evolution, which would be really cool as well. Um, but there are so many possibilities with these stats that you really can't say what this thing might be. Um, honestly, as I said, I'm hoping for like a mixed attacker, but it's really up to you which one I guess you would want from this, um, seeing as a, I'm assuming this is the only evolution we're getting in this generation. Um, but other than that, there's not really much I could say at this point in time as to speculation as to what this Pokemon might be, what type, and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much my opinion on it. Um, let me know in the comments what you all think about this new Pokemon. Um, I think it's really cool and I'm really looking forward to seeing what it can do. Um, and I'm very interested in seeing how it will play out in a competitive type environment. So with that, um, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy this new information that we've all just gotten recently. And I will see you in my next episode as I continue coverage on 6th gen Pokemon alongside my usual uploads of booth sets and battles. So anyways, that is it again. So as always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you next time.